So I'm out here and we were at this little van meetup and I bump into this guy and there's a few American subscribers here. You guys know who that guy is? Do you? His name is Static Camper Van. Anyway, we're gonna go check out his, uh, his home. So uh, this is my van, it's a 2015 Ram Promaster City, so minivan obviously, and uh, I bought it brand new and built it out myself. Uh, it is a simple build, but I've got a bunch of stuff because I am middle aged, so I want to be comfortable. So uh, I've got a solar panel, which allows me to have a 12 volt fridge, and I also have a, um, a sink with running water in back. It's not heated, but it's running water. Uh, and then a very comfortable bed uh, as well. So when I was setting out to build the van, I really just decided what I would really need to be comfortable. And I've got actually a lot of stuff in here for it being a minivan, but um, you know, a little stove, cause I really like coffee. And so it's the first thing I do when I wake up. I actually get up 10 minutes early every morning just so I can make coffee. So a stove's important. Uh, and then just being able to clean up because you can't always get to the gym to take a shower. That's why I wanted the sink. Uh, I've actually washed, uh, laundry in my sink so that's a restaurant sink that you get at a restaurant supply store and the funny thing about these sinks is at a restaurant supply store you are going to spend less money on this sink that is a better quality sink than you will at home depot it's just a no-brainer really but it does take up a little bit of space but is really actually very usable uh, and then i just got a few things just to make things as comfortable as possible for myself. I don't spend a whole lot of time in the van, but um, when I do and I'm sitting in bed and I maybe am gonna wanna check up on, you know, uh, catch up on YouTube videos, uh, I've got this little mount here that just has a, just a simple cheap phone holder. Phone, uh, holder. So this swings it out and it keeps my phone away from my stove when I'm cooking and uh, if I'm laying in bed, I can just angle my phone so I can see it and watch movies or whatever. So the one thing I found I needed when I moved up to the Pacific Northwest here was heat. So I went with a Wave 3, which uh, you know all about. And because the van is so small, I needed some way to mount it. So I just bought a um, flat panel TV mount and I keep it stable. Backpack here. I keep it stable by just um, using this gear tie to hold it up so it doesn't fly around as I drive but this is just a flat panel TV mount so it, it allows me to move the heater around and get it set so that it's it's away from everything I can run it all night and uh, have heat which uh, for a Southern Californian guy like me is super important Uh, so this is a Max Air fan. Uh, it's probably oversized for what I need, but uh, I, I think it's super important in a van. You know, you don't need a whole lot, but you do need good ventilation, I think. So I really like this thing. I leave it open all the time. Uh, even if it's not on, I just leave it open so I get fresh air all, all the time. My van's pretty simple, but I just figured out what I, I would need, and it's not really much, but moving in, into this van, I used to own a house, I used to rent an apartment, I used to rent from friends, but living in this van set up like this with what I've got, I've been the most comfortable over the last two years living in this van that I ever have living anywhere else uh, my whole life. So simple, in my opinion, is perfect. You don't need much, you just need what you need. Figure out what you need, do it, 
and even if it's a small van, you can be super comfortable. So there you guys got it. Keep it freaking simple. Don't overthink things. If you're gonna get in the van, just get in it. Throw like he has, the basics to get you through your day. You'll figure it out as you go. He did, and he's doing just fine. All right guys, if you guys wanna follow his journey or anything like that, I'll leave all the links to his stuff down below. All right guys, see you later.